Einstein's brain was once stolen. It sounds like a sci-fi movie, but it's not. Einstein was aware that scientists might want to study his brain after his passing, and he explicitly forbade it. But when Einstein passed in the early morning of April 18, 1955, the pathologist who examined him, Dr. Thomas Harvey, decided to remove the brain for future study. Dr. Harvey took Einstein's brain home, divided it into 240 pieces, and stored it in jars filled with celloidin. He kept Einstein's brain for the next several decades, hoping to unlock the secrets of Einstein's intelligence. The fate of Einstein's brain was mostly unknown until 1978 when a reporter tracked Harvey down in Wichita, Kansas. Today, what remains of Einstein's brain resides at the Penn Medicine Princeton Medical Center in Plainsboro, New Jersey. Almost nobody is allowed to see it, not even researchers. But many more pieces of Einstein's brain can possibly be found across America, thanks to Dr. Harvey's habit of giving away pieces to curious friends. But what's really crazy is that 